Welcome to another episode of Gaming and Performance. I am your host and I return with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you a performance Easter egg that's going to allow you to increase your performance in Black Ops 6. The caveat is that this is only for those who have a Radeon GPU, a Ryzen CPU, and a AM4, AM5 motherboard. So let us begin. As you can see here, this is how you're normally greeted when you load up Black Ops 6. Newer versions of this game as it updates, the screen might be different by the time you watch this video, especially if it's several months from now. But however, this is the preseason. This is how the screen looks for us. You normally load up the game and you select to play. As you can see, you're greeted with the option to go to multiplayer, zombies, or campaign. I'm going to just go to multiplayer because that's what you normally do. There is an option here. I want you to select the gear icon that will take you to the graphics section as you see under the quality display there is no option for something called fsr3 frame generation at the time of this video it is not in the multiplayer aspect of the game when you go into graphics i am only assuming that at some future point it will be added here but for now it is not it works in multiplayer however what you're going to need to do is go back go to campaign it'll load up load up again launching you'll be greeted with this screen again the screen may be different by the time you watch this video especially after season one two three four five etc but what you want to do here at this screen you want to click on the gear icon as demonstrated in the upper right hand corner go to graphics and you will have an option to enable AMD FSR3 frame generation. I've already enabled it, but as you can see, it's been selected. This is only available in the campaign of Black Ops 6. As I stated earlier, I'm assuming that this will change at some future point in an update, whether it be part of Season 1, Season 2, or Season 3, whatever the case may be. However, you do want to enable this. When you go into the campaign, you want to get to this section and enable it as quickly as possible because if you have never played the campaign, you're going to start loading shaders. You want to do this as soon as possible. I don't understand why this feature is not available in the multiplayer of Black Ops 6. It is only available so far in the campaign. Do keep in mind as a caveat that a newer version of AMD FSR is going to be released sometime next year. So expect an update on that as well. I'm pretty sure AMD and Activision will provide marketing material once that becomes more readily available. But until then, this is how you're going to enable it for multiplayer. But repeat, this is for multiplayer and campaign. But most of you who are watching this video will not have any interest in campaign and you want to play the multiplayer. This, on average, when you start enabling image quality features instead of just putting everything on low, should yield you around a hundred frame per second boost. That is the Easter egg because there is no discernible input latency or display latency that would hinder you from being competitive in Black Ops 6. And I will show you gameplay of me nuking with it on. So that is a true Easter egg of performance in my opinion. I'm not sure why this is not talked about. However, I did discover this in I believe Reddit and in another video on YouTube. However, this is not being discussed at all and it needs to be turned on. I don't care if you have 7800 X3D, 9800 X3D, 5700 X3D, 5700, 5600X. I don't care what you have enable this feature do it just do it you get free performance with no downsides there are critics who want you to believe that you will experience input latency i have not experienced input latency enabling this if you have a full-fledged amd build i have not seen any discernible input problems with this enabled and i see the performance benefits i don't see any slowdowns i don't see any input delays i don't see anything well i I should have started on my screen kind of thing. I don't have any of those problems. Now, granted, there is some EOMM and SBMM problems with Black Ops 6, but that's another topic. Until then, enjoy the rest of the video of me nuking in this match with AMD FSR 3 frame generation enabled. Have a wonderful day. I don't know which shit. 
I'm gonna move off a bad game play five exit out. Exit out.